Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Spartan. And I'm Pudgy. And we are back watching Breaking Bad Season 2, Episode 7 today. So last episode, we had a fair bit happening, both mm -hmm. on Jesse's end and Walter's end. They, Their own personal storylines had almost just come to a... What's the word? Just a... A conflict point where they have to grow beyond a limiting factor within themselves to become the people they I guess need to become to make this business work one factor was so we had Jesse mm -hmm. what were you gonna tell me about that well I was just gonna say that I feel like there wasn't much growth from Walter but well really because him saying to Gretchen fuck you he finally expressed yeah, okay. the frustration. Like he never expressed himself. Even yeah. when, when he went to their um, birthday, it was all like, hey, how are you going? But he was he That's was true. holding resentment. He was upset. That's true. So he finally held the line, spoke his mind, expressed himself. You know, and I I think that is big for him. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I do agree with that. Fair enough. I was thinking more along the lines of him lying again to Skylar and things like that. Yeah. And and then so that was well, that was Walters. Him lying to Skylar, yeah. I mean, that's just sort of been the theme, isn't it? Mm. Like, he but he's just not believe... getting any better at it. Yeah, his lies actually getting worse. If anything, <laughs> but yeah, he doesn't believe that she can handle what he's going through, and I don't think she can either. I don't know. I've got this sneaky suspicion that maybe she will surprise us and be like, "Okay, I'll support you." Yeah. For the most part, I think she's going to be horrified, and fair enough, rightfully so. M many, most people would in that situation, but Walter believes he's doing. He's definitely his pride and stuff's gone in, in the way, you know, they could have done things a certain way. Yeah. But and it was interesting the other episode, not last, maybe the one before, where, you know, he was saying to Flynn, his new son's name, just saying that, you know, there is a right way and then the easy way. And I think that really underpins what he's doing. And he's quite blind to that at this point because he's so, like, seduced by the high that he's getting. Yeah, yeah. And we'll discuss that last episode. We're saying, like, it's interesting because his is the easy way in some sense. Not easy that he hasn't gone through struggles, but yeah. that he's found the illegal way to that's quicker to make a big buck rather than maybe, you know, having taken the job offer would have paid for his medical expenses. He would have gotten a pay rise. And I'm sure that they, you know, that company, Gretchen and her husband would have taken care of Skylar yeah. after he was gone as well, like knowing the kind of people that they are and what they were willing to do. Yeah, true. So that would have saved us. Obviously, we wouldn't have this story. But yeah, so that's interesting that he's not seeing that in himself as of yeah. yet. Yeah. And then obviously we've got... Jesse's growth, which was quite interesting. It was nice to see Jesse in a different light. He was doing something out of his comfort zone, something he probably never thought he'd have to do in his life. Again, I don't like how Walter's putting these expectations on him. He, he opened palms off to Jesse, the shit end of the stick, which given that Walter is the one that really coerced him into this, it's not like Jesse coerced Walter or something. Mm -hmm. He coerced Jesse. He's needed him and used him and blackmailed him. So to be like, you do this part, and which has gotten him bitten into a coma at one point, and, you know, it's... Granted, Jesse did offer up this idea and say, well, this is going to get done. And I, I'm not saying that was all, all wrong, but I feel like he needs to meet Jesse halfway more or, or, or get involved, join Jesse on some of the elements. Yeah. Like, yeah, I don't know. Well, to be fair, Jesse didn't say he needs to go kill people. Walter did say that. No, but Jesse said, let me handle the streets. Yeah. And then Walter said, well, then handle it. Because yeah. us getting stolen from doesn't end here. That's so true. So handling true. it is handling it. But I really did like the storyline with that little boy. It was quite sad. And unfortunately, it is the reality for a lot of children. But, you know, seeing that little kid go through what he's going through. And I feel like it's kind of like a mirror image of Jesse in a way, you know, what's going on inside of him in this world, like like this fishbowl, we're just watching it. It is better to show a lot more character depth for Jesse as well. Yeah. We've seen it already with Jesse's brother, but we're just seeing more and more that he might be mixed up in the wrong crowds and, you know, doing some illegal stuff. But yeah. Jesse is, he has a good heart, you know, and he, and, mm. and he does want, he doesn't really have anyone to direct him or help him his parents seem like they're very, they seem like almost that really, um, 
straight and narrow Catholic type family kind of thing. And there's no room for rebellious behavior. So yeah. if you're not behaving well, good grades, whatever, then you've let us down and all that pressure probably crumbled him at some point. Yeah. And he let loose. It's very relatable, very understandable. And he doesn't have somebody to sort of meet him halfway, be a good mentor, but also not judge him on his mistakes mm. and, the, and, and guide him out. If he had one person like a good uncle or, or an older brother, somebody to be like... Definitely not his auntie. <laughs> yeah. Still question mark about what happened with those two. A bit of Targaryen action there, but... Yeah, somebody to just guide him out. And I feel like Walter is almost being that person for him, but he's actually letting him in rather than yeah. out because he's a teacher who he looked up to and, you know, gave him probably what, we, what we've understood more of a chance than any other teachers did. But now even that guy has sort of gone to the corruption and it's like, well, what hope does Jesse have of any sort of inspiration to be let out of this life? Yeah, it's all, I don't know the history well just yet, but it almost seemed like Jesse did almost look up to Mr. White and kind of wanted his attention. And that's how he knew how to get it. So now that this man is literally like taking you back into the darkness in a sense, it's, it would be quite conflicting for him, wouldn't it? So I really do like how we are getting some glimpses of history with Gretchen and Walter. We do know that something happened there and we kind of theorised that maybe Heisenberg has kind of always been in there in terms of just the corruption. Maybe he did cheat on Gretchen and got Skylar pregnant because, you know, we heard that she fit into her prom dress that she seemed to be pregnant in. We don't know. But then also now we're kind of coming full circle in the sense of at the start of the episode, we're getting little clues of all these different scenarios happening. And then hopefully maybe at the end of the season, we'll find out what happened. But one thing that I kind of thought about that caught my eye is, you know, that pink toy that we keep seeing in the pool and the eyes out and everything. To me, that's obviously a kid's toy. They're having a girl and that might be you know, a toy that the baby is born. So we might have this time period where the baby is born, the the baby girl's alive. You reckon in season two? Yeah, I don't know. It could be the end of season two or something where she's like pushing out the baby. So something would have had, had to happen at that point. Baby's alive and... Or it could be like a baby shower or something. I don't know what people in the US do, but if they have those kind of cultures... Well, they had a baby like shower already. Yeah, okay. So they could have already had that toy, but something. some. Me- oh. Well, the point is it gets brought to the home, so it gets serious. Maybe, maybe the, in that toy, maybe that's where Walter is hiding some of the drugs and stuff. Maybe, Don't but know. because it's so early on season two as well, I feel like it's there to subvert our expectations. Yeah, true. And yes, I got that terminology from Game of Thrones. <laughs> I feel like it's meant to, we're meant to think like, damn, like what's all this happening? How did he get caught? How did he get in the situation? And then it's going to be something that's going to be like, oh, that's what it was. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Could be a play. True. The show is good at doing that, but I'm not sure. Yeah. They're very good with the symbolism side of things. To everyone on Patreon, thank you for supporting the channel. If you do want to join the Spartan Pudgy family over there, access several episodes ahead for early access, all the uncut reactions. We'll leave a link in our description. If you're watching over on YouTube and you enjoyed today's reaction, remember to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel for more, and let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this episode. All right. Let's go. Let's go. It's like a music video or something. Reminds me of like one of those food stalls that you go to and the guys come out with a band. You reading the words? Tell me that's Heisenberg. No, it's not. It's not. Uh-oh. But it looking like him. They've literally they, made a song about it. This thing about his, yeah. <laughs> I love Big it. I love bad that Heisenberg. Heisenberg. So he's really well known at this point. Oh, is that cartel gonna be after him? Oh, the homie's dead. Is he gonna go against the cartel? <laughs> oh my god, and it's such a like upbeat song. <laughs> Heisenberg v cartel. My money's on Heisenberg, baby. Oh shit. 
How are they singing about it in like this upbeat tune? It's cross the border. Oh man, happy with that. Holy shit. Okay. So that makes sense. Like, remember how we saw those guys in the water that found Tuco's grill? They're killing anyone who's even buying it. Nah. It's not him, obviously. Someone's dressed up as him. Wow, okay. That was a lot. All in one song. Holy shit, okay. Let's hope we can get that through copyright. <laughs> Jesse, open the door. This is a bit sus. What kind of state is he in? I very much need to get inside here. So if you have a master key, you, you, have, you have a key, right? <laughs> is he really think it's going to work? It's just, it's just very important for me to see him. And you knocked, right? Yeah. He didn't answer. He obviously don't want to say y'all. Look, I'm his father, all right? You're Mr. Jackson? Yes, that's me, Walt Jackson. This man has a lot of alter egos, doesn't he? <laughs> Look, whatever's going on between the two of you is family. I don't get involved in family. Jesse doesn't want you in, you're not getting in. I actually like her attitude and her philosophy. Yeah, that's fair enough. Come on in, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Matt hasn't seen the sun in days. Holy shit, dark room, everything. Man's thrash. Yeah. I don't blame you, man. He went through a lot. Hey, give me my... I will break this. I will break this. <laughs> they always go like this. Rocky idiot. Is this what you've been doing the whole time I've been trying to reach you? No. I've been taking care of business. What business? The business you put me on, asshole. I like the attitude he's giving to him because yeah, he, he fair, Bob yeah. does deserve it. This business. Is that a jog of memory? Son of a bitch. Oh, shit. He's having none of it. Yeah. Fair enough. I meant get your money back. I certainly never meant for mean you to, to kill somebody. No. Well, too late, you know, because dude's dead. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. He needs to have more accountability for his words. Here's your money. Yeah. 4660 bucks. Your half. Yeah, no, all that for that. For someone's life. Oh, and there's blood on it. Was that money worth someone's life? Trying to save yours? Oh, and the weight on his conscience. He's going to realise all the bullets are there. I didn't say I killed him. <laughs> Dude's wife... Crushed his head with an ATM machine. It doesn't sound believable, does it? Man, will you just please give me just poor give guy, me man? My weed, all right. It helps with my nausea. Yeah, he's just trying to cope with all that shit. Could you not stop this woman from killing this man? Look, she, she had a gun on me, all right. Yeah, and as you know, dealing with what he went through. I need some sympathy from Walter, please. So. Back up on that horse. Walter's always straight back into it, isn't he? You get on. All right. I just want to forget. Just... Oh, Walter on the streets. All Ooh, right. Okay, yeah. Sorry. Did you say sorry? And yeah, just, just briefly. He doesn't know what to do. I think Walter's like emotionally numb to it all right now. He's yeah, just confused. Yeah, I feel like Jesse is an end to a means at this point. Mean to an end. Mean to an end. <laughs> means to an end. <laughs> it's just my verde. Patron saying of Mexican drug dealers. But yeah, hell, I, I know who it is, okay? <laughs> hey, please, senor safety. <laughs> hey, no DEA, please. Okay, so <laughs> Hank said his new job. Yeah, true. Across the border. Oh, yeah, everyone here's very serious. Oh, Hank ain't fitting in here. Everybody getting you settled in? Oh, yeah, yeah. Great group of guys. And gals. And gals. Guys. Guys. guys, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's really not Hank's vibe here. About to put a big dent in the cartel. Right, Vanko? Yes, sir. I'm going to talk about these bastards like a cat passing a pato, fíjate. Yes, 
see that it's Oh damn, he's like fluent and Hank's just like, huh? <laughs> oh, he's the Hank of this office. <laughs> Interesting. Hey, watch it. It ain't real, dumbass. Just watch it is all. You watch it. Oh, ho, ho, Heisenberg. Oh, shit. Where's Jesse? Busy. Hey, that's cool. Real cool. Totally cool. Oh, they're all scared of him. Yeah. It's interesting. Did Jesse oh. really uh, squash that dude's head with an ATM machine? Oh shit. The fact that that's even going around is dangerous. Wow. Yeah. But like, uh, he really did it. No, he didn't really do it. But is he's going to make that them is believe. the effect he wants. You didn't hear that from me. I get it. He wants people to pay up and have that fear and intimidation. Oh, he's just smiling a little bit, look like. Yeah, but Ooh. Jesse, he's again putting Jesse in the firing line. Yep. Oh, Walter. Hey, the presence there, though. Eisenberg. Fuck. There's little Heisenberg Jr. <laughs> Here you go. Very good, Miss White. We'll consider your application and let you know. Thank you. What is she applying for? Is she applying for a job? <laughs> it's a bit creepy. She's just sitting there like... I know, <laughs> that smile. <laughs> hey, Ted. Look, come in, come in. Okay. Uh, no call. Right, thanks. Tell me he's gonna be like her Gretchen. Probably. Cause something definitely has happened between them. You can see. Walt, how's he doing? Oh, he's... he is doing great. Yeah, he's plugging away. <laughs> oh, now she's lying about it. I was applying for the data entry job. How about to uh, get your old job back? Oh, this is going to open a whole new can of worms, isn't it? We could use your help. Okay. <laughs> I've never seen her so giddy and fun. I know, and... yeah, it's sort of weird. Look at this here, 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 and here. What does that look like? Oh, dude, man does not know the cartels on his on his trail. It's not our territory. Because we lack initiative. Initiative. Yes. Ah. You need to employ more <laughs> dealers. Double, triple your crew. Oh, yeah, he's getting very like. It's not our territory, man. Yo, you follow me here? Yeah, I don't think he knows the risks involved with that. Other crews ain't gonna take kindly. You mm -hmm. understand? Sure, they won't like it. But I say they're not going to do a thing about it. Oh my god, the bloody confidence. What are you talking about? Apparently it's all over town. Somebody crossed you, you got angry. You crushed their skull. Oh my god. You are a blowfish. What? A blowfish, think about it. Small <laughs> in stature, not swift, not cunning. Easy prey for predators, but the blowfish has a secret weapon. <laughs> Who messes with the blowfish, Jesse? No one. Nobody. You're damn right. Jesse the blowfish. God damn. Say it again. I'm a blowfish. Say it like you mean it. I'm a blowfish. You're a blowfish. That's yeah. It. <laughs> Dude, he got hyped around it. What the hell? They're pretty much in bed with the cartel. But surely undercover. Or not. Hey, white boy. Better learn Espanol, huh? This ain't Branson, Missouri. You know what I'm talking about? He does not like being spoken like that by him. 661-00-ZBG. Large size floor runner. Look at that. This man's just giving him his wish list. Like, jeez. And I think he's going to be the one after, well, uh, Heisenberg. Potentially. It looked like it before. I just remember that hat. Yeah. Hey, but you stop jerking us off here? Yeah, Hank. Had enough. Well, this isn't how they make deals here. 
My name's Tortuga. You know what that means? Well, I'd have to guess. I'd say that's uh, Spanish for asshole. Oh! <laughs> Tortuga means turtle. I take my time, but I always win. Oh, oh damn. Shit, I'm liking Hank in this. Well, you're against Hank the Great White, my friend. Yeah, very different to what Hank's used to. Well, I like Hank in that scene, though. I got myself a job today. You did not. <laughs> She's literally about to give birth. With who? Well, someone willing to work around that, apparently. Benneke. You did not. Oh. <laughs> Is Mr. Grabby Hands still there? <gasps> Grabby Hands? He's married with a family, so I'm sure he doesn't want to get sued for sexual harassment. It will not happen again. Oh, I think it oh, might. Oh, shit. I think it might happen again. Hi, hi. Uh, dinner will be about an hour. Oh, thanks, uh, Everything okay? Everything's perfect. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. In and no communication. Oh, he doesn't want a cough in front of her. <laughs> Why? Is he not doing treatments? I don't know. Is he still doing his treatments or not? Because, yeah, true, the coffee has come back. M Mom got a job. Where? Um, Banneke? I'm back working in the accounting department. It's funny because their communication really isn't there anymore. Like, she's got a job. He had no idea. Who's running things? Ted. The son. Oh. Anyway, I have got to go... Okay, so maybe Will doesn't know too much about that thing. Yeah. Not yet, anyways. It's a drawing. Wow, she's good. Like a hell of a tat. That's the plan. Really? I work part-time down at ABQ Inc. It's funny that she has the look for it too, like... You're a real good drawer. I used to do a little of that. Yeah, true, remember? On his test with Mr. White. <laughs> what stopped you? Uh, a lot. You know, just... So, tell me something. What kind of tattoo artist has no tattoos? He didn't want to open that can of worms. Thank you, Pudgy. I was not aware. I like how their friendship is kind of growing, though. Hey, man. Man, everybody's been talking about you. Yeah. Oh no. Here we go. That's not good. Especially not how strict she was for him to have the house. I thought your name was Jackson. Quiz would be a nickname though. What is the the last name? <laughs> he just walks away. Like, what do you say? Oh my god. Oh, God. Politics. Yeah, he's not the guy that they used to. Hey, uh, something I need to know about? What? Oh, man. Nah, man. We were just uh, singing your praises. Yeah, of course you were. Oh, poor Hank. He's literally like a fish out of water. Or a shark out of water. And he's doing the most genuine job. I reckon he pissed off the turtle and he's given them wrong information. Well, something's happening. <gasps> what the hell? Oh, shit. He was not the cartel we're worried about. What oh, is happening? Someone found out he snitched. This is like a whole new level for Hank right now. Shit. I wonder how Tuco would have gone in this environment. Like, would he have been like the little bitch or? Probably. I do miss Tuco. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my. Hola, it said. Yeah, wow. Oh no. This is not level up from Tuco. Heaven is back. Right. Big one. <laughs> oh, poor Hank. What's the matter, Schrader? You act like you never saw a severed human head on a tortoise before. <laughs> oh, wow. For them, this is just like normal. Yeah. 
It's hardcore out here. Shit. <laughs> hey, welcome to. <gasps> oh my god. Luckily, Hank pulled away. Holy shit, dude. What's happening here? I'm gonna cry. He's losing a leg. What the hell is happening? Look at him, he's just, he's just in autopilot. Holy shit. Wow, that really shocked you, huh? Yeah. Why? I'm not doing so well. What the fuck? Can we... Wait. I know we're almost done, but that was too much. Yeah, I mean, it was a big scene, but oh, you've seen a lot worse. I'm, I don't know. You... I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Like, you just, you, the head is enough on the tortoise and then everyone's making fun of him. You, I'm really feeling what Fanks, Fanks, what Hank's feeling and. You yeah, know, it was definitely it, like. It, it happened so soon. It was, holy shit. Wow. Okay. Well, that, that. Definitely raised the stakes a fair bit. Holy shit. <sighs> I don't know. That was, that was like... I thought it was going to be a, a big bad for a while. And they've already shown that... They're just showing you how far this cartel is. This guy was nothing like that. Are you, are you not breathing? Because I'm not breathing. No, I'm all right. Like, it shocked me but in the moment. But I didn't... I don't know that, but that... Like, oh, my God. I was just... I need a minute. <laughs> One minute, guys. I think the sound has got you more than the, what happened. I think so. I think like it triggered your fight or flight real quick. Whereas, yeah, I don't know. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm sweating, but we're good. <laughs> all right, let's go. This is our city. All right? All of it. The whole damn place. Our territory. So Jesse's definitely a lot more confident after that talk. Well... I'm gonna be king, you guys will be princes or dukes or something. I wanna be a knight. <laughs> oh my god. Bad job. You're working for me, and they're working for you. You follow me? Layered. They ain't following. Jesse's got the crown on his top as well. Definitely king. King Blowfish. Gotta own this city. We're not charging enough. Oh my god, the man gets real greedy. He's wearing spanners in the works. He's getting them into some deep shit, man, honestly. Yeah, the cartel, no joke. That's going to be interesting. I wanted to thank you for having me back. You don't have to thank me. I don't need you. Yeah, I don't know. Those words are... Hey, how's Denise doing? Uh, we split up about a year ago. Oh, how convenient. Hello, people change. Oh, very relatable for her, isn't it? We should have lunch one day, like old times. Mm-hmm, like old times. And she likes it too. She does. Man finally bought his plasma. I'm nervous for what's pulling up. Oh, it's the girl. Oh, it's the girl, okay. Doing some snooping. Oh, just conveniently walks outside. Oh, hello. Listen, my uh, my name's not really Jesse Jackson. No shit. And that guy you met, he's uh, he's not my dad. Okay, he's really coming clean. Cause he likes her. I don't make it my business what you do. So long as you don't do it here. Okay, fair enough. I don't mind that from her. So hey, I got this kick-ass new flat screen. Wanna see? It's gonna have like no networks on it. <laughs> Firing satellite signal, oh my god. This man's failed badly. Oh god. 
Make sure it works before you invite her over. Hey, maybe man's the plan. If it doesn't work, what else can we do? Bum, bada, bum. <laughs> she's uh, feeling something. Yeah. I reckon she's ready to Netflix and chill. Yeah, she is. Oh, that is kind of cute, though. <laughs> Better enough. That was a really big episode for a lot of reasons, but let's start with Hank, because that really got me. We did get a lot of character development, thinking about it, for, for a lot of people, actually. Yeah. We moved everyone's plot lines. It's like yeah. There's a lot of subplots developed in that one. Mm -hmm. It was actually a really enjoyable episode. I mean, starting with Hank, that was a lot for him to go through. I mean, he was the big dog in his old office, and now he's literally a chump, I guess is the word. But ironically enough, that chump, which really was him just taking the threat seriously, yeah. actually saved him. Everyone yeah. else got ruined. Yeah. Because, like, really, why would you just have a head on a toilet? Like, there has to be a bigger warning there. And I think that just goes to show that they're not here to play around. Like, this is a whole other level of threat right now. I mean, I think, look, the head is the warning. Like, your snitch this is what happens to those who betray yeah. us. So that was a big enough warning in and of itself because we're already thinking this guy is, you know, decently high up but decently capable yeah. to be in the position he's in. And then, but not only do they do that, then they really catch you off guard by having an explosion. And yeah. it's like, oh, shit, you know, wow. Like, because you're, so, you're so focused on, on Hank feeling yeah. off and struggling that you not don't think that something else is coming and then boom. Yeah. Just like that. That was, a, that was just a lot for me, like... Yeah, Oof, I, didn't, I, I didn't think you were really relaxed because you've never seen shit worse than that. I, what Hank is going through, I really, really do relate to that, that PTSD side of things. So when he is experiencing that, I'm in that with him. And then being so like engaged in that, then bang, like that was, that was a lot for me. And just for context, I was in a pretty big car accident. So I am kind of... Yeah, just got some PTSD in regards to that. And that's why I was saying, like, I think, well, it makes sense what you said too with the relating to his PTSD, but even that sudden boom sound, it's very, can trigger that similar sound that you do have in a, a, yeah. a clash. So, yeah, it, it probably plays a role as well. Yeah. But it is interesting, though, to see that, you know, Hank's on the other side of the border. He's he's dealing with a massive, big threat right now. Like, this is nothing like we've seen before. And then we literally see Heisenberg and Walter and Jesse trying to cross over into those borders. So I do see how slowly, slowly, all those little glimpses from the start of the episodes, we are going to catch up to them and we're going to see how everything pieces together. I can see everything this season coming together. Yeah, it's interesting. And... I've got this thing, I don't know what it is, I don't know why, but I always love in a show when you've got a villain who seemed just pretty badass, pretty hard to defeat, yeah. and then you meet another villain, maybe even bigger. I almost love playing devil's advocate and being like, oh, what would happen if we had that villain on our side now versus this villain? Yeah. So in this case, like, although I'm pretty sure Tuco is probably a level lower than these guys, I still feel like, damn, imagine we had Tuco here losing his shit against these guys, what would what would happen? What would that be like? Tuco would get squished. Because wasn't Tuco saying as well that he wanted to go beyond the borders to Mexico anyway? So yeah. he must have been aware that the cartel operates there. Did he think? No, of course. I think everyone knows. I think it's just like a well-known thing. Yeah, but I'm saying, him. you know, he was either prepared to step on their toes or he knew the customs of not getting on their bad side or something because he obviously knew the risks. Well, I think that's what he referred to as, he, as his cousins. Like maybe his cousins are in the cartel and he just would have been like taken under their wing. I'm not too sure to be fair, but yeah, that's how I'm interpreting it. So for other plot points, mm -hmm. we've now introduced Skylar and a potential a fair interest, let's say. I almost feel like this guy yeah. could be. I could see Skylar going down the route of having an affair yeah, and or at I, least being tempted. Yes, yeah, tempted is a probably a good way of looking at it. And Ted is much more relatable now, isn't he? Like he realized that he was with his wife for so long since high school. I'm pretty sure that might be 
a similar age or maybe just after college with Walter. I'm not sure yet. But, you know, people change, people grow apart, and maybe we are better off separate. So those little lines are probably going to be ringing in her head for a while. And, yeah, I don't think it's going to go well for Walter and Skylar's marriage. Yep. So we've got Hank's development, which we talked about, Skylar's development, and then obviously Walter and Jesse, they're just, yeah. I mean, the ambition knows no bounds, but really Walter is the catalyst for it. You mm-hmm. know, he's... They talked about ionic bonds or chemical mm-hmm. bonds at the beginning, and it's almost like he's that bond. He keeps everything glued together, yeah. and and he's very ambitious, very ambitious. And Jesse can get yeah. prepped up and believe in his vision, but then we see time and time again, Jesse cops the wall under the stick. Jesse's the one that deals with these, you know, depression and hits rock bottom. And don't get me wrong, Walter's also going through a lot, but he is prepared to to risk it all. He's mm-hmm. almost like I'm dying anyway. He's prepared to go go for it. His ambition continues to surprise me. Oh, yeah, from just, okay, let's expand, now let's increase our prices, and it is crazy. He wants to make a quick buck, but I think he's in it for the long run, and it is going to catch up to him. But that is an interesting point. He was coughing, so I wonder if he's still... I mean, the whole point of earning the money was to do your treatment, but is he kind of just putting that on the back burner now? Mm, Yeah, yeah, it's... A lot of questions. I am looking forward to seeing. I'm looking forward to this season mm-hmm. reaching its climax point. I am really enjoying Hank a lot more than I thought I would. I, yeah, he's becoming a really interesting, likable character as well. Yeah, it's exciting. I want now. I just want to find out more about this cartel, and I want to see how the hell Heisenberg is going to deal with this threat. Because I mean, I don't know where we go to from here, and I don't even know if he's able to deal with them in this season. But they're a pretty high level threat. If he takes them down, I don't know what the hell's next. But I imagine that intro that we kept talking about where the Teddy's exploded and in the pool and whatever. I imagine there's some aftermath of the cartel going after Walter potentially. Yeah. Well, I do feel like the end of the season is going to be the big blow up. And then it's kind of like, oh, we know who Heisenberg is. This song is out now. He's going to be dead. And that goes into season four. I think that's going to be like a really big plot for season Season four. three, you mean? Season three. Yeah, Damn, he yes. Could be any song. Yeah, I have sort of said continuously that I really feel like season three is going to be where Breaking Bad starts to really find itself. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's a lot of build-up and growth and plot points being developed. And I feel like season three is going to be like, okay, now we're right in the thick of it. Now the table's been set, a lot of the elements have been established, and now we really can elevate things. That's That's what I feel like we're heading towards. Yeah. And then on the other hand, I actually really am liking Jesse's storyline with Walter, yes, but also just on the side as well with this girl. I need to remember her name. I, I'll work on it. But I feel like he deserves to be happy. I, he deserves to have someone there. And she seems really chilled, like, your business is your business and I don't even know about it as long as it's not in, like, you're not dragging me under with you, which I feel like that can get a bit in muddy waters soon but for now i'm enjoying that you know he is happy to some degree the rest of his life has gone to shit why can't he have one she's thing pretty chilled she doesn't seem overly judgmental yeah so there's a bit of that there so yeah well guys we hope you enjoyed our reaction to this episode if you did don't forget to leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel for more and make sure you let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this episode and were you as shocked by that head on a tortoise and explosion as we were yeah as Pudgy (laughs) was in particular take care of yourselves and we'll see you guys on our next reaction see you guys